Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to King Arthur Knight's Tale. If you're not familiar with this game, it is a strategy RPG set in a dark fantasy universe and using characters and lore from Arthurian legend. This game has a lot going on. There are elements in this game from multiple different games that you might recognize. It takes a little bit from here and there, and it really makes it into something unique and awesome. There are base building elements, party management elements, so things you might have seen in, say, XCOM or Darkest Dungeon, even a little bit of Frostpunk in the way that some random events will pop up. There's map exploration. There's all kinds of stuff in this game that just makes it really special and really amazing. And I'm looking forward to starting a campaign today and really getting into things here. If you're new to the channel, firstly, thank you so much for clicking. I really do appreciate it. The way I play games is I like to get immersed in the game. I like to get immersed in the story and the lore, the characters, the systems. And I like to just have a nice relaxing time and just sink really deep into things here. So let's start a new campaign. I played around a little bit just to get some settings right, make sure I had everything squared away as far as sound and visuals. We're going to do a new campaign and we're going to run on roguelite mode. So in this, all of our progress is going to be saved automatically. There's no manual saving. There's no save scumming. If somebody dies, they're dead. If we make a bad decision, we are just going to have to live with it. Uh, there's also a morality track in this game where you have to decide whether you're going to be a tyrant ruler or a rightful ruler and whether or not you're going to follow Christianity or the old faith. I'm pretty sure that we're going to go rightful old faith, uh, but we'll see how things work out. That determines what characters you get access to, what story elements come about. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into things here. So we'll go roguelite mode. And we'll get right in. Wake up, night. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. Kills King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both die, and yet you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, Sir Richard. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. 
or whatever he has become after I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Sir Mordred, living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him. But I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. All right, very cool opening. Night on a dark path, and for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis, and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible, after all. Almost killed the king, who cannot be killed. And that's how the nightmare began. All right, so we can move around the map with Wazda. Have some different things we might be able to inspect here. Shrine of the Lady. This is the legendary island of Avalon, far, far beyond the realm of Britannia, surrounded by the endless sea of the other world. Avalon is the realm of the most powerful enchantress who has ever lived. She has many names, but in Britannia, they revered her as the Lady of the Lake. She was born under the cold waves and ascended to reign over this magical land. She is the immortal who spins the fate of mortal kings and queens, the one who speaks the language of the lakes and ancient forest. She rules this land that was once meant to be a haven for the fallen heroes, the mere image of the mightiest kingdom in the mortal world. Wait! Who the hell are you? I'm here to teach you some manners, lad. All right, so a couple of things going on here. We have AP, which you can see are the green bubbles below our action bar. So the green move indicates that if we move into the green, we're going to have enough AP left to strike. What you can see here is if we walk right past an enemy, they're going to have an attack of opportunity. So we don't want to walk right past him like this. Even though we would prefer to get a back attack, uh, we don't want to take an attack to get a back attack. We could open up with uh, Stigma. That's going to cause 20% vulnerability to the target for one turn. But we could just run in probably and attack here and then we would be fine. We also ha have the opportunity to Overwatch. And we can also reserve AP. So if we reserve AP, that means that next turn we'll have more AP. So you can see here it says... Uh, if you reserve 1, 2, or 3, you'll get a bonus of either 1, 3, or 6 AP in the next turn. But for now, let's go ahead and do a short move. We'll get right into his face here. And we should be able to open up with at least one attack. Alright, that's really all we can do. We'll reserve the rest of our AP and we'll end our turn. And now we'll just finish him off. can hear you let me out and we're really going to want to limit how much damage we actually take you can see that we have vitality and we have hit points if we take vitality damage that can lead to actual injuries and obviously death but injuries are something that persist and we'd have to once we have our base we'll have ways to deal with curing injuries but we really don't want to let things get through our armor and our hp so we do have to be careful uh, with how much damage we take, you don't just refill back to full health after every mission. What is this thing? And we're gonna want to explore pretty thoroughly uh, because there are hidden objects all over. We can find gold, we can find items, or real treasure and we really want to be doing that. During your adventures, you may gather loot from various locations. However, you can only equip and manage your loot between missions on the adventure map. Door, yeah, well, we will. Just help me, hold on. I will help you. Well, well, well. Sir Kay, 
King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward. An honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Sir Mordred, the Scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. We have a couple of options here. Sometimes the options will do things for us, like move our morality in one direction or another. Uh, but a lot of times it's just kind of flavorful. You can RP however you want. Let's go with what the hell is going on here. Calm down and talk to me. Are you real or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? Well, you're quite upset about dying, yet you seem to be very much alive. How so? Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. What is this place, anyway? I've already told you. Avalon. The Island of the Fallen Knights. And this is Castle Camelot. This hovel is Camelot? Yes. Not the one that you remember, though. Alright, you promised to help me if I set you free. How about that? I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Open the door. Alright, he doesn't have any armor or anything on at the moment. Probably gonna want to rectify that soon. Great. That's my armor over there. That was really fast. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? <laughs> we must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. Alright, Sir K must survive. We've left the secret sanctuary. We need to bang on the door. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this. What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! That puts us in a pretty good position here just to immediately get a back attack. And back attacks are going to deal extra damage. Uh, with the remaining AP, we can go ahead and do an overwatch, though I'm not sure it's going to be necessary. We'll see. We'll bring K right into his face here. We have a cleave, which would uh, hit every unit in a three tile wide area. We don't need to do that now. There's only one enemy, so let's go ahead and just do a basic attack. And that's going to finish him off. I was just getting warmed up. We do have different formations that we can be in, and we can move our characters around to change their spot in the formation. Right now we only have a couple of guys, so not as important yet. Uh, holding down the middle mouse button, we can move our camera about. Look what I found. Heavy armor. And we do have a map too for every mission. There will be an overworld map that we can kind of use to plot our course and to make sure that we're actually exploring everything thoroughly. Room. Prepare for battle. All right. Sir Kay, you are really persistent, but I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. Alright, let's take a look at what these guys can do. They're trying to show us some tutorial stuff over here. Right now they're talking about reserving our AP. We already took a look at that. We'll clear that off. Overwatching, we know what that's about. Uh, we need at least three AP to overwatch. Alright, so these guys, let's see. One to three weapon damage. They can't really do a lot, they've just got a basic attack. Uh, you, however, 
5 to 7 weapon damage. So yeah, we really don't want to get hit by the big guy. That could potentially be bad. Let's go ahead and we'll move Mordred over here. And if we move Sir Kay in, he should be able to finish this guy off in one swing. Okay, good. We didn't take an attack there. Uh, what I would like to do, I'd like to get Kay I'm here to serve. all the way in here. He's not going to be able to do an attack, but maybe he'll draw some attention. Prepare to die. Let's go ahead and cast Stigma on this guy. That's going to cause some vulnerability. <laughs> Or we'll just misclick and just swing away. That's fine, too. We're going to reserve the last bit of our AP, then. There we go. He did what I wanted, and he turned and attacked K. Uh, I think this might be a back attack here. Pretty straightforward. In charge here. More things to plunder. And we're gonna have to be really, really careful about misclicks because we can't save scum at all. So even if we totally misclick and send somebody to their death, we just have to live with that. So we'll have to just be really ahead. careful to uh, choose our moves carefully. <laughs> Look what I found. It's quite a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. Predictable battle. Exploring the area before battle rewards you with information. The more deployment areas you discover, the more tactical options you will have when combat begins. You can select any area you discover for deployment. Okay, so before we run in here, we want to scout around, basically, is what they're telling us. And we won't always have this option. Some battles we'll kind of stumble into, other battles we'll be able to scout out. So let's make sure we've scouted everything out here before we engage. Alright. Take them one by one. Now we could deploy these guys anywhere we want. If we're looking at the minimap here, guys that are circles on the minimap, those are going to be ranged attackers. Like these guys back here are archers. Uh, and we are going to take quite a bit of damage from them. We probably want to prioritize taking them out first. And then square guys are going to be your melee attackers. I think I want to deploy over here. Put, let's put K right here. And uh, we should probably keep them together. I don't, maybe we split them up, but we go after the archers individually. Let's do that. Let's have them kind of pincer these archers and take them out first. Uh, we're not going to be able to get in here for an attack, but he's not going to run in either, so we might just have to move in. Let's not do that. Let's... Let's just set up an overwatch in case uh, any of the melee guys come in. And then with Sir Kay here, we'll take this guy out. 
and we'll reserve his last AP. All right, these guys did move in a little bit. Ready to fight. I think I want to bring K all the way in. Reserve AP here. We're going to take a couple of hits here. Let me cut you to size. And we'll set up an Overwatch with Mordred. Yeah, we can't, we can't get, oh yeah, we can get them both with the cleave. Okay, that's perfect. Very nice. And then we will do, we don't have, uh, well. Oh, okay, because we attacked, we can't do the overwatch. And we need four AP to do a normal attack. So let's go ahead and we'll reserve our AP. That'll give us a more for next turn. I suffered a light wound. But you didn't, he said he suffered a light wound. They'll say that he, if he actually took an injury though, he would get a token over here. So even though he said that, he's okay. I am here to serve. What must do these soldiers serve anyway? That would be Sir Toalan. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. So, you are back as well, traitor. You probably don't remember me. Uh, I wish I knew what you are. I am just a walking corpse cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. Proud words from a walking, nameless corpse. He is... he was Sir Tuellen, a once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. What are you doing in Camelot? I fell in battle, like we all did. But instead of gaining new life in legendary Avalon, I've returned as a lost one. I might be just as lost as you are. What are you even talking about? Let me rephrase it, traitor. Camelot is a sacred place reserved for the once and future king. That is the law. But I spit on the laws of the Lady of the Lake. Clever man, this is a great way to make an ancient enchantress very pissed. I'm not afraid of her. Lost ones can't perish. This is our curse and blessing. Is King Arthur here with you, walking corpse? He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. Well, he can't be dead, otherwise I wouldn't be here. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of Midnight. Spare me the poetic rubbish. Tell me where he is and I let you live, or whatever you call this existence. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. Uh, we'll see. Worst case is that you'll keep lamenting after I take your head. All right, we have a couple of guards here. Two to four damage, 14 vitality. They each have two armor we're gonna have to get through. And they have a 20% chance of block. Yeah, they're both the same. Uh, further out here, we do have an archer that's kind of lurking in the back. And Sir Towelin here, 
Four to seven damage, four armor. Okay. What do we want to do here? I, I think we, we need to deal with this archer, like, first and foremost. I am here to serve. I'm tempted to run Kay all the way out here, and then maybe with Mordred we come here and take on this guy. Can Mordred... Yeah, Mordred can just barely get there. He's not going to be able to to take him out completely. Let's let's do this. Let's come here. We'll get an attack in. Uh, maybe we should come here with Sir Kay and finish him off. Uh, if we can finish him off. That's going to at least draw an attack from this guy, though. If we run in... I don't think they're going to have enough AP to get within range of Mordred and attack. And if we run in here, then the archer is going to have to back off before he gets a shot in. Let's try this. Let's get K right in his face. Uh, Mordred's... everyone's out of AP. Okay, well, it wasn't a very effective shot, but he didn't have to back up, I guess. Alright, so... Your Highness? Let's do this. And then we'll move him back here. Uh, with Mordred... Yeah, we can't really disengage here. We might be in a little bit of trouble. We can get two attacks off. Uh, and then we want to... Kind of... We're gonna take a back attack. I'd rather take it from this guy than these two. That worked out okay. We'll bring Kay in here from the side. It won't be a back attack. Oh, maybe it will be. Yeah, it was a back attack. Perfect. Uh, you need to be facing this way. And let's go ahead and we'll cast Stigma on Tolin so that will weaken him a bit. And there we go. Pretty simple. The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? And so now we get into the part of the game where we're going to make decisions that are going to move us along two different tracks. One track is going to be your morality track. Whether you're going to be rightful, or you're going to be a tyrant. The other choices we'll see revolve around religion, so we'll have to choose between Christianity and the old faith and the old gods. I want to do a rightful old faith run. So we're going to go with this one. I've been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as the protector of Camelot. I will not take this throne, but I'll make my round table and take on this quest. And yeah, like I said, taking on the morality tracks, the morality tracks are going to be what opens up different heroes. So depending on which way you go in the game, you're going to get access to different heroes over time. And with those heroes come, of course, their unique story arcs. Alright, we got a couple of items here. Let's take a look. We got heavy armor, uh, plus one unbreakable armor while in a duel. Uh, defender class, defender and champion class only. A ring with plus two burning damage. Nobody we have does burning right now. Uh, another unbreakable armor here, but while outnumbered. And then an oath stone. Regain one armor while drinking potions. Okay. So nothing amazing. We Both of our characters here leveled up. That's good. We got some resources, building resources, and gold.
Camelot, the once and future king stronghold in Avalon, the mere image of the glorious fortress in Britannia created by the powers that rule this mystical island, only the most powerful knight of the round table can claim it. The blessings of the lady have protected the place for a long time, but now it lays in ruins. You need resources and workers to rebuild it, so we can't, can't get into Camelot yet. Uh, but we can look around the map here. And it looks like our next mission is going to be over here. Eventually this opens up and there will be side missions and little events for us to deal with. Uh, we'll check out our morality chart here. Uh, during your journey you'll have to make tough choices that will affect the outcome of the story and your allied hero's loyalty. Here you can see your previous morality event choices. That's the other thing is so all the heroes are going to have an alignment that they prefer. And you'll affect their loyalty by going against their alignment. And loyalty is important because the more loyalty a hero has with you, the higher damage that they're going to do, basically. Every choice you make will be represented on the morality chart. You can unlock morality abilities and heroes that are unique to that alignment. On the vertical axis, you can go from being a rightful ruler to a reckless tyrant. On the horizontal, it can range from being a devout Christian to being a follower of the Old Faith. So we have Old Faith over here, Christianity over here, Rightful Ruler up here, Reckless Tyrant down here. So we're going to be going into this direction. So that's going to give us access to the heroes along these tracks. And then it has a little recap of what you've decided that has pushed your morality so far. So I have been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as protector of Camelot. I will not take this throne, but I'll make my round table and take on the quest. That's what we've done so far. Uh, let's go ahead and deal with our levels here. So we do have ability points to spend. Uh, right now we have two active abilities. We have our strike and we have cast stigma. I think we want to grab the third active which is going to be shield charge, runs to an enemy and tackles them, dealing 50% weapon damage and causing knockdown. A knockdown unit is knocked back and sent to the ground, and will stand at the beginning of their turn with 50% less AP. So yeah, we definitely want to grab that. That's going to cost us both of our points right now. That's absolutely fine. Looking over here, we can see that Mordred's morality is neutral. He has fast metabolism, so after missions, he's going to regain 20% of his vitality. He also has a veteran. Uh, this has to do with appointing them to lead buildings once we have the town going. While appointed master of arms on the training ground grants every hero 1% mission XP after every mission they did not participate in. So we'll get into more of that later. Here we just see basic stats. And then of course we have equipment. We did get some equipment. We could give him the armor, the ironclad sigil here. That's going to raise him from 18 health up to 22, uh, plus the 4, and he gets unbreakable armor if he's in a duel. I think we can go ahead and equip him with that. Uh, burning damage isn't really going to help him, he doesn't have anything that burns. Plus 1 armor while drinking potions could be okay. Uh, I like the unbreakable one unbreakable armor while outnumbered, so we'll do that. And we... Hmm, I think I'm going to save this one for K. Oh, he can't use that. Okay, let's go back to Mordred then. There we go. Uh, for Sir K, we could get Death Strike. Deals 170% weapon damage to an adjacent enemy, but with negative 20% armor breaking. Each point of armor on the target reduces. So this is going to be something you will want to use against enemies that don't have armor but it's a huge amount of damage so i am going to grab it so right off the bat we'll have three active abilities uh not really anything for us to equip him with right now if we're looking over here he's also morality neutral which is good he's talented learning active skills oh, oh it did learning active skills only cost one ap which means we can go into some of these tertiary abilities here that kind of buff the main abilities we could make our strike cause some bleeding. Or we could just do plus 15% weapon damage on strike. I think that's how we have to do it. Same thing here, 15%. Let's go with just the flat 15% weapon buff damage on our basic strike. There we go. Uh, he's stubborn, so negative one loyalty when he goes into a mission without full vitality. 
So vitality is what we get to after they eat through the hit points, it eats into vitality. We'll just have to keep an eye out for that. Alright, that should be good. The nearby Kingstone is plundered by a marauder knight. Kingstone. What a regal name for a mud hole. Anyway, the village belongs to the throne, and I must teach these brigands a harsh lesson about boundaries. Also, I will need plenty of masons, woodcutters, and laborers to restore Camelot to its former glory. I like the voice acting and the tone of the main characters in the game. Not all of the voice acting is top-notch, but the main cast is really good. And I like the kind of like the casual way they speak. Like, I like how he says, anyway, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's good. Let's see, enemy types, brigands. We can get a bonus reward, resources, and a recruitable hero. Free the village from the marauding knight and put the remaining serfs to work. Let's go. Missions do get a little bit longer, so what I'll try to do is I'll try to have each episode just be one entire mission. Could be an hour, could be an hour and a half. Uh, for this episode, we're going to just do two at least, just to kind of get things rolling a little bit. But we'll, we'll develop some kind of natural cadence to where the episodes begin and I where they end. Too late. I don't see any survivors. Alright, so here we go. Like I said, we do have a map that we can open up and uh, that'll help us make sure that we are exploring everything. Village of Kingstone. Can we get down here? Interesting. We can. Interesting. What is interesting? Ah, loot. So yeah, it's going to be really important that we, we fully explore these areas. Although sometimes map edges are... There we go, that we are at the map edge here. Well, if it isn't good, Sir Balor... Oh. Come on then, fellows. Let's play. No, okay, right into yes. things here. The righteous fool, trying to save the village on his own. All right, we can't control him yet, so we might want to be a little careful. Your Highness? You can get into range on um, this guy here. So we'll move K in, we'll take out this raider. Raiders are pretty basic, but he can do 4 to 7 damage. This guy can do 3 to 5 damage. Yeah, this is the biggest threat here as far as damage is concerned. We'll take him out first. Perfect. Alright, with Mordred. Uh, we don't want to get an opportunity attack here. Can we... Let's come up here. Nice. Okay, he is going to be a big heavy hitter, similar to Sir K. Gods, Sir Mordred. The rumors are true then. You have returned. Sir Balin, wasting away your talents as ever. I'm only following my knightly oath by protecting the innocent. The nearby village is plagued by these brigands, and I must stop them. I don't know if it's Balin or Balan. Maybe we'll go with Balan. Uh, I have I hate to admit, but I'm here for the same reason. I need this land. So you are truly taking King Arthur's place in Camelot? Recruiting knight. You should find my brother. He would be a great fit to your dark court. Uh, where is Sir Balin? So his brother is Balin. These are the sons of the guy we just killed at uh, in Camelot. That selfish, wild zealot is busy defending our heirloom at the Bridge of Sorrow. It should have been mine, but he ignored our father's will. Tell me more. Curse upon Balan. Anyway, my late father believed in Arthur's creed that a knight is defined by the deeds, not by the land. Uh, I fought and killed your late father in Camelot. No hard feelings, I hope. Finally, you committed a murder that you should not regret. He became a disgrace to everything he fought for in his life. Death was salvation for him. What do you know about King Arthur? I must find him. Or should I say, that is my knightly quest. You are not the only one looking for him. Something terrible happens to Avalon, and people need guidance. You have a point. Do you have any idea where he could be? 
The ship that brought him to Avalon reached shore beyond the Bridge of Sorot. I would start looking for him there, in the Whispering Cove. That's what my father told me and my brother, anyway. I will get to the bridge as soon as I'm finished here. Our goals are the same. I'll accompany you. Alright, perfect. Animals. Half of the village is killed and maimed, the other half hiding in the woods. We must stop this. I like how if you want to, you can get like right into like an over-the-shoulder third-person view. That's actually really cool. So there's a battle here. It looks like this is really the only path for us to go. I don't I don't see any other ways around, so let's get into it. As we as we progress, the maps will open up and be more explorable. Will they? These brigands are not even worthy to stand trial. We shall kill them all. Still a good old Balan. Protector of the weak. Spare me the cynicism. You are here for the same reason as I am. To save these people. Yes. I need them to work the fields, see? You are a disgrace to everything the Round Table stood for. Maybe this land needs my Round Table to survive. All right, we do have some deployment options here. I need to get to these archers, but there's a couple of them. Yeah, there's an archer all the way back here. They're kind of spread all over the place. Is there anywhere where we could kind of find cover? Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, there's cover way back here. We could just kind of turtle and uh, let them come to us, but that would involve getting in here and then kind of well, we got cover right here. Yeah, there's a few different ways we can take this, but we do have to be careful. I don't want to put somebody out on their own for them to get surrounded. Let's start by... Yeah, we'll do this. Your Highness? This. Your command? Let's just get them into cover to start. And like I said, I'm kind of tempted just to do some overwatching here and see if these guys are going to run in. The cover will give us some protection against the archers. We'll see what they decide to do. You just reserve your AP. You cover this way. Yeah, that didn't really do much of anything. All right, this guy had to move in, that's good. Ooh, but we're kind of, ah, that was a block still, so that's good. Yeah, see, now we've kind of drawn them in a little bit. I'm still a little bit worried about stepping out of cover with all these archers, but let's see, where can you get to? This is not considered cover back here. Maybe we just want to get in here Time to feed the ravens. and start on these guys. I am ready. Sir K. If I could get you there, it would be a cleave, but that's that's going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Uh, this guy does 4 to 7, 3 to 5. Where can, you, service, where can you get? You, you really can't get really anywhere, can you? Let's put you up here, and we'll do an overwatch with you. I am here to serve. Feel the pain. Time to feed the ravens. And we could do a knockdown on this other raider. Let's do that. And we'll reserve the rest of our AP. Same here. All right, that's good. Lost one armor there on K. So 
So the armor really stands up. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, an ally. That changes things a little bit. You should be able to get right in here now, Balan, and finish this archer off. Uh, after that... Mordred, go ahead and finish off this raider. We should be able to attack twice. Oh, one attack? We'll do it. That's perfect. We can do Stigma here on the raider. And then Sir Kay should be able to finish him off. And then I don't think the archers are going to run in, so let's just reserve our AP instead of doing an overwatch. For king and country. Oh, she has quite a bit of range. Your Highness. Ah, Sir Mordred. You really don't have to thank me. A lady with a bow. I could use someone like you. I'm Lady Dindrain, the Lord's chosen seeker of the Holy Grail. I always thought that quest was meant for Galahad and Percival. Aren't you helpful? I wish I had thought of that earlier. Where are the Grail Knights then? You must know them well. Do I know them? Yes, you can say so. Percival is my brother. A bright light in the encroaching darkness. Fighting his battles where I can't reach him. And Galahad? Galahad is... Well... Trust me when I say that he is... Truly lost. No, I'm alone in my holy quest. It is my trial by fire. Don't tell me you're looking for the grail among these hovels. No, I'm looking for redemption in this hellhole, Tread Knight. By hunting down vermin like these? No, sir. I'm hunting down their leader. The Marauder Knight hiding in a ruined tower. Our destination is the same, then. The good lord sent you, then. I'm always glad to have some walking shields around me. Let's go. Indeed. Alright, perfect. Uh, she has a couple of things. She's got shoot, 100% weapon damage, and fire arrow. 70% weapon damage that causes burning on the target for two turns. Burning suffers one damage at the start of their turn, okay? She doesn't have any armor, so she's gonna have to be kind of protected. Let's continue exploring. Who is going to need this? Treasure lost and found. A new heavy armor sigil. Uh, potions during combat. You can use various potions with your heroes if they have them in their inventory. With potions, you can heal yourself, replenish armor, or even AP. Potions cost 1 AP. Here we go. Please. Okay, that's wave one. I doubt that's going to be all that we have to deal with. I'm also just not seeing any cover around here, so... Let's come in, but let's set up some overwatches. Uh, she can actually hit him from quite a ways off. For the Lord Almighty. Very nice. I don't think anyone's gonna run at us this far. I'm gonna I'm gonna move in, but then reserve AP on our other two guys, on Balan and K. Oh 
Okay, they do have archers back there. We're going to use Lady Dindrain to kind of hopefully deal with their archers. Uh, there's only one right now. Can she get into a position where she no can deal with this guy? Yes, yeah, if she comes up here. E oh, wow. So even right here. Let's make sure we can make this a safe spot for her to be, though. For my Camelot. Uh, you'll provoke an opportunity attack there. Your orders? Let's bring Kay in, and he'll finish off this raider. Or no, let's... Yeah, let's bring Kay. Awaiting your command. Come right here. Finish the raider off. Okay. That should allow Mordred to run in. Balan, Balan's range is not that great. I'm going to run him in here. And maybe he'll draw some attention. And then with her, I'm going to bring her right here. And we're going to start pegging away at their archer. Oh, just one HP. So close. Uh, Mordred, you can come up. And we'll do an attack here. Okay, that's fine. It looks bad, it looks like they're swarming us, but I think it's gonna be okay. Uh, what do we wanna do here? I am ready. Oh, that didn't leave him with AP to do anything. Yikes. And he can't overwatch. That's so weird. We'll have Balan take him out. And then also set up an overwatch. And then if we can get Lady Dindrain into a position to take out that archer, that would be perfect. She could do that from all the way back here, and that is exactly where I'm going to have her go. There we go. I am here to serve. Uh, with Sir K, let's go ahead and we'll do a cleave attack here on these two guys. Perfect. And then we can do a normal attack to finish him off. Your orders? Balin can come in right here. And we can take out the raider in the back. And then Mordred can come over here and get the last attack in on the raider. We are victorious. That works. Uh, we did save this person. Let's go talk to them. Thank you for saving me. 18 gold, not bad. And 20 experience. Kind of, uh, we're going to be going this way. There is a campfire over here. Campfires are going to allow us to choose to restore armor or to restore HP. This may serve a higher purpose. Nowhere else to go this way. A place of worship. Shrines. Shrines grant a random positive or negative effect on one of your heroes selected by you. Heroes with high enough spell power can reveal the exact effect of shrines. Ooh. Nobody with spell power right now. 
Your proficiency in spellcraft reveals the shine wool on... Oh, we do know. Okay, so this is going to regain armor. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that on either Balan or K. Uh, let's use it on K. Perfect. Now we... Oh. In the old days, you raised the towers of mad wizards and crushed the champions of the Shi. And now you are trying to save some dirt poor villagers. How profoundly annoying it shall be for you. Indeed. Now, we, if we had a map that we knew there were going to be a lot of battles on, we could have saved that armor shrine and waited until we needed more armor. So in the future, we might be doing stuff like that. Right now, it doesn't really matter too much. Same thing here, like we could restore armor here to everybody or HP, but I think we're going to hold off and uh, see what happens after the next fight. This is where the Lord of the Vermin is hiding. Let's cleanse this hovel once and for all. Alright, so it looks like if we scout around here, we should be able to... Yeah, we'll find some more areas to deploy. Alright, yeah, let's see how we want to handle this. Get ready! Okay, so they've got archers way in the back here. I'm tempted to deploy over here. That lets us take out that archer pretty easily. They've got another archer over here. I'm kind of worried about splitting up our troops, but it might be necessary here. How would I want to split them up? Maybe I would put Lady Dindrain on this side. She can help take out these two archers over here. And then uh, I put some strong people over on this side here. Maybe Mordred and Dindrain are going to be on this side. Mordred has pretty good mobility. Sinners shall bleed. Uh, this is cover for her. I would like her to to be in cover. And then maybe with our other guys, I kind of leave them here. Maybe I don't want to come around here. Let's make this archer kind of come to us a little bit. We have cover here that we could utilize. I fight for honor. Are they going to get swarmed though? So how am I going to handle this? I'm going to take this guy out immediately. I'm going to try to bring Mordred in. Maybe over here. And then these guys are going to swarm whoever I put here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's let's move Balin here. Let's leave you here. I think this is good. I might overwatch this to see if I can lure these guys in. Sinners shall bleed. Uh, I want her taking shots at this guy. The Lord guides my hand. Oh, she can shoot twice. Oh, so nice. So nice. Okay, uh, Mordred. Yeah, you're not going to be able to run in quite as far as I would have wanted. However, uh, you do have cover here. So that's good. We can do stigma on... If I'm, I mean, it's not really worth doing it if I'm not going to attack this turn. Let's reserve, let's reserve AP here. Or let's do an overwatch. I'm going to overwatch on these guys as well. I want to see how easy it is to lure enemies in. Or if they're too smart for that. Uh, he gained a bunch of armor there. He did walk right into the overwatch. Didn't really do a lot with all that extra armor he just generated for himself. Okay. This is where things are getting interesting because now I have these guys over here kind of on their own, which is scary. <laughs> now 
Maybe I need to focus this big guy down first. But I kind of don't want to take these guys out of cover because I'm worried about the archer just taking pot shots at them. Hmm. For king and country. What kind of damage are you going to do? That's not not a lot of damage. Awaiting your command. Yep, let's uh let's not do that. Whoops, oh, well, that was a misclick. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that we really can't afford to do. Uh, with you, I'm going to reserve AP. Uh, let's see, she could hit him, but through cover. If she comes around here, she has a shot at the archer in the back. Let's do that. Ooh, not enough AP to attack twice though, and that took her out of cover. That could be bad. Okay, he took a shot at Mordred instead. That's good. Ouch, ouch. Oh god. We have maybe made a terrible mistake. Yeah, I have to get Mordred in here to kind of lure some of these guys off of K and Balan. Otherwise, we are going to have some serious problems. Your command? Can you finish him off? Yes. You need to do that. You need to face this way. You can take another shot at this guy. This armor is probably going to wear off eventually, right? Maybe I shouldn't even be hitting him right now. If I come in here, I can cleave. Is my cleave damage going to be enough? Kill the guy. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's not too bad. If I come over here with Dindrain, I can take out this raider who's kind of lurking in the Defend back. Yourself. Okay, perfect. And, uh, do I want to... Oh, she's out of... completely out of AP. Okay, anybody have any AP left? Nobody has anything. I took a hit. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, we're getting into his actual vitality now, which is not what we want. The Lord is my witness. Can Lady Dindrain handle this last normal guy? Not really. He's in pretty good cover. To feed the can we ravens. can we knock him out of cover? Yes. Let's do that, and then we'll do our weakening on the Marauder Knight. Because we're going to try to get some hits in on him. That's all we can do there. Yeah, I'm tempted to have Balin just kind of run away, basically. I don't know if that's going to, like, stop him from attacking him, but I'm going to try it since it won't provoke an attack of opportunity. Uh, you can then come here. Let's take a shot at this raider. There we go, we got him down. Okay, and then reserve your AP. Uh, he can't do anything else, so we'll reserve AP here. None can stand in my way. Okay, good, good. He he went after K there instead of Balan. That's perfect. For King then you King. can come back in and get a back attack. Oh, you don't have enough AP. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, oh boy. It was going so well. Okay, we might be able to get him this round. Mordred, what can you do? You can get in here. Okay, we did it. Uh, we didn't lose anybody. 
It seems I was wrong about Balan took portrait. too much damage, though. Uh, careful with the praise, it makes me uncomfortable. I shall give you an advice, then. Camelot is in danger. Not from these marauders, but the creatures of darkness beyond the Bridge of Sorrow. You mean your ancestral bridge? My brother Balin is standing guard in the bridge fort, holding back the tides at midnight. So Balin and Balan. That's how I'm going to have to pronounce them. We have Balan, his brother is Balin. This almost sounds like praise. There has been bad blood between us. He is cruel and arrogant, a savage in battle. But even Balin will fall if you don't help him out. And what about you? I have fulfilled my oath. If you decide to march to the bridge now, I will meet you there. Fine, I'll see you at the bridge. Whew, okay, victory. Finished missions. When you complete all the main objectives on a level, you can exit via the finished mission, or you can choose to explore the rest of the map. I think we're going to explore, because I'm pretty sure that there's, yeah, there's treasure. Oh, look at that. So, I don't know what that is. If you, is that where we're at? If you are about to leave a map, if you've cleared everything, it's going to show you where all the chests are after you've completed all the objectives. That's really cool. Garbage. Rune for a ranged weapon. Perfect. Uh, for Dindrain. Let's come over here. More things to plunder. And jewelry. Now, I don't know if that's all there is to explore. Maybe we do want to kind of circle around here. You know, we have the campfire. I don't know how much more there is to this map. It looks like we've explored pretty much everything. Uh, there's This is all kind of cordoned off. Now, we could go to the fire. And we could use this. I don't know if this matters as much. Let's just go ahead and restore the HP. Get everybody Rest, back to full HP. Kill, repeat. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, our uh, Mordred and Kay didn't level up. They're close. Lady Dindrain leveled up. We've got a couple of runes of the Marksman. Plus one damage while attacking from behind cover. Or no, that's plus two damage attacking from behind cover. That's good. Plus one damage against unarmored units. We've got a Sigil of Heavy Armor. Regain three HP when drinking potions. Light Armor, plus two HP. Uh, we have a Ring of Bolting, plus one movement AP if disengaged at the start of the turn, and some healing potions. Uh, Camelot Reborn. Every lord needs a castle, and I knew it from the very beginning that I will rule this realm from Camelot. Finally, the time is right. We have gathered the resources and the manpower to rebuild that majestic ruin. Camelot will shine bright into the gathering darkness of Avalon. There we go. So we're going to have lots of buildings here, things that we can train up our guys, get them experience. We're going to have a merchant, we're going to have the cathedral, hospice for wounds and healing. Uh, right now it looks like we just have a crypt and the round table, though we do have some building resources here. Let's check out the hospice. Avalon can be a harsh and unforgiving place. Your wounded heroes need time and care to recover for the next nightly quest. The hospice offering comfortable beds and skilled healers is the right place for that. Okay. Uh, training grounds. An old saying goes, rather a thousand drops of sweat in training than one drop of blood in combat. On the training grounds, your knights can hone their martial skills and prepare for the next battle. Requires merchant, though. Uh, cathedral. Towering above the timbered rooftops, this majestic building preaches the glory of the one true faith. The cathedral offers salve not only to the soul, but for the body. You can heal the most grievous wounds here, so that must be for permanent injuries to get those removed. Uh, Enchanted Tower. This mysterious tower is an isolated yet important place dedicated to the mystical arts of magic. By tapping into the arcane energies of Avalon, you can gain forbidden knowledge from magical items and you can also buy ones, new ones from the Artificer. And the Merchant. 
A hidden building in the shadow of the colossal ramparts where a secretive merchant offers all kinds of rarities arriving from the various corners of the island, ranging from strange fruits or mysterious objects to legendary weapons unearthed from ruined castles. Requires hospice. So yeah, I think we're going to build the hospice and then the merchant. Yeah, let's go with that. Treatment slots. At the moment, you only have one treatment slot where you can heal your heroes. Treatment takes time and you won't be able to use that hero for that period. The recovery time will be reduced by one after every completed mission. Okay, we don't have any injuries right now, so right now we're good. Here your heroes can reconstruct this building and expand its capabilities. Upgrade the building to unlock additional three treatment slots so you can heal more heroes simultaneously, cheaper or faster. Building title. You can assign a hero from your hero list to this title. A building with an assigned leader gains an additional benefit. Certain hero traits can have an effect on a title, so be sure to pay attention to them. Okay. So we can unlock a second hero slot. We could Vitality healing cost is reduced. So these are going to cost us lots and lots of money in building resources. We're not going to do any of that right now. Let's handle Lady Dindrain's level up if we can uh, do that. There we go. Okay, we could grab her Poisoned Arrow, a range attack that deals 100% weapon damage and poisons for two turns. Po poison is going to have them suffer 10% damage at the start of their turn, dealing, and they deal negative 20% damage. Let's just go ahead and learn this now, so that we have all of her active abilities opened up. Uh, for her weapons, we have 5 to 9 right now. Either of these is going to be better. I think I want the additional 2 damage from behind cover, so we're going to do that. Uh, she has the light armor here, so that's going to be a boost to her HP. And here we go, plus two burning damage. She does have that fire arrow, so if we pair the fire arrow with the plus two burning, that could become a really useful skill. And then she does have a potion, we'll go ahead and give her another one. Uh, you guys, I don't think we got anything... Oh yeah, we did get, uh... We should probably put this heavy armor on Sir Kay. We already have a decent armor on Mordred, so yeah, we'll give the 22 plus 4 HP armor here to Kay. Alright. Uh, movement AP, he could definitely use some more movement, so I'm going to give this ring to him. And we'll give him the second potion as well. Okay, uh, that's great. So let's take a look at our map here. We do have an event, Pillagers of Kingstone, and then our next mission is over here. Let's take a look at the events. These kind of remind me of the events that happen in Frostpunk a little bit. Pillagers of Kingstone. The defeat of the Marauder Knights of Kingstone was a harsh lesson for all the scoundrels pillaging the countryside, and a pleasant exercise for me. His remaining henchmen immediately laid down their weapons and offered their servitude. How admirably they crave retribution. I could give them a second chance and recruit them. On the other hand, I should satisfy the vengeance of the villagers and make an example that could reinforce my reign. What shall it be? Uh, again, this is rightful or tyrants, so we're going to go with rightful. Put the captured marauders to, to the sword is a harsh verdict. Ah, oh, see, we could probably use them, though. 50 building resources. I really want to push into the direction so we can open up those heroes and abilities sooner. So yeah, we're going to put him to the sword. Apparently that's the rightful choice. So there we go, that's perfect. Our morality chart is trending ever upwards. So yeah, there we go. I defeated the Marauder Knight of Kingstone and I decided to put his remaining men to the sword. I need to set a harsh example. All right, guys, this is going to be a good place to take a little bit of a break. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start each episode at the beginning of a mission so that we can kind of have a, a clean starting point and a clean ending point. The missions do tend to get a little bit long, but I'll try to be handling one mission per episode. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. I really, really love this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it is kind of a lot of what I enjoy about games. I love having the tactical RPG elements, the different classes, abilities, and gear. 
I really do enjoy the story as well and the world that they've kind of crafted here. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. If you did enjoy it, consider leaving a like and subbing to the channel. That would help me out a lot. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Avalon again really soon. Bye now.